Ultra Video Pirate Oi! Quick video showing you how to use my preferred scrubbing program for computers. This is a used computer that I received recycled. The gateway monitor, 15 inch. I need to peel that off or get a heat gun. And then the tower. It's got a Windows XP Home Edition. It blue screens and I tried multiple times to install. It could be a bad hard drive or what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrub it. Sometimes scrubbing old hard drives works and then the operating system is installed just fine. So I've got this Hiren's Boot CD 15.1. It's an older version. This is a pretty old CD and it still works. So we're just going to load that in here. As you can see on screen it was already loaded a bit. I'm just going to try it again. Oh, the, check this out. This is a old gateway, kind of similar to the Microsoft, older school Microsoft. But anyways, the keyboard works, so we're just going to reboot it. And I'm going to, this is a Dell. And we can, then I want to choose the CD. I want to boot off the CD. Dell, you hit F12. All Dells you hit F12 to get to this boot menu and then you can choose what device to boot from and then I'm going to boot off the the CD then this is Hiren's boot CD 15.1 scroll down to Derek's boot and nuke hard disk eraser and it runs Linux just hit enter at the boot I don't mess with anything else I just hit enter takes a few moments here yeah, it says it can take up to a minute but usually it doesn't take that long starting D wipe then you want to choose you make certain if you have multiple hard drives that you pick the right hard drive I usually just to not make errors we're humans, we're not perfect. To save time, I just make sure there's one hard drive. But if you have multiple hard drives, make sure you choose the right one. Otherwise, you're going to wipe a hard drive that you don't want to. So just hit your hit your space bar. I just hit my space bar, and it selected the ST3414A, which is the internal hard drive that's installed. It's an IDE, and it selected the partition. Then you just hit F10 to start. There's a menu, PR method, verify rounds. I don't mess with any of that. I just hit F10 to start. And it's starting round one. It has three rounds. Oh, it, it failed. So it could be a bad hard drive. Oh, yeah, it did. Look at the keyboard lights. They're flashing. It's, pro it's probably a bad hard drive. Bad EIP value. We'll try it one more time. I'm just going to power it on, and maybe it was just a fluke, but I've had an, a nightmare trying to get Windows XP loaded on this computer, so I want to hit F12. I don't, yeah, there we go, and we'll try it one more time. Derek's boot and nuke. Hit enter. Take a few seconds. If this doesn't work, there's another program I use, but I will make a separate video about that program. We'll just keep one program at a time per video, I guess. Hit the space bar. Whoops. Hit wipe. You notice how there's only one entry this time? Then hit F10 to start. And we'll see if it works this time. Round one of one, pass one of three. Nope. It's getting a kernel panic. Killing interrupt handler. In I, I usually don't get these. Usually what it does is unable to handle kernel no printer deferential virtual process dwipe. Usually it comes with an error saying that there's bad sectors and it can't go through with the scam, but in this scenario, it's just completely freezing up this computer. So it's probably a bad hard drive. Or there could be bad sectors, and I will make another video showing you a program that I run. This program can take weeks, but sometimes if it only takes a few days, 
it can it'll detect sectors on your hard drive and you can install the OS. Adios.